Hey, what's going on guys? Sam Onion here, and today we're going to be reviewing the four machine kits in the HP Nuclear Tech Mod. Now, these aren't just, like, kits, like, with just one machine. These have, like, various amounts of, like, machinery and stuff. Like, this one is an Atomic Science Starter Kit. Next is the Atomic Science Advanced Kit. Then we have the Atomic Science Commercial Kit. And last but not least, the en electronic engineers kit. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna dive right into it with these uh, kits here. We're gonna start off with the atomic science starter kit. Automatically, like, gives you a Geiger counter, and it doesn't give you a, an actual like filter. That's a problem. So make sure you have a filter. <laughs> um, Yeah, if you don't have a filter, then um, it's pretty much useless. I didn't see... I, I, there might have been a filter on there, I'll be honest. So, you get yellow cake. You get a steel, lead, industrial grade copper, uranium ingots. We get... Two flat stamp, uh, three flat uh, titanium stamps, two uh, rad X, um, and uh, looks like eight rad away. Nuclear furnace assembly machine, chemical plant, nuclear reactor, two ste uh, steam turbines. You get a uh, M six five Z gas mask, a handheld Geiger counter, machine template folder. Burner press, blast furnace, centrifuge, a gas centrifuge, plutonium hexafluoride tank, and a breeding reactor. So that's it for the first one, and obviously the advanced hazmat suit. So that's it for the science atomic science starter kit. Next we're moving on to the atomic science advanced kit. I like this one because it comes in a blue case. More like teal, I guess. Same as before. Yeah, we're gonna need some right away. <laughs> so it comes with four right aways. Um, uh, three uh, pellets of uranium two thirty eight. Actually, it's plutonium. Three pellets of plutonium two thirty eight, uh, and then we have the weak uranium RTG pellets. A whole stack of yellow cake, and uh, where's the? I know there's something else. The plutonium powder. Oh, I'm not feeling good. <laughs> it gives you the uh, tri uh, tri tri um the tritinium. Yes, tritum uh, deuterium cake. Fuck, that, that's that's hard. You get RTG uh, RT generator. Three gas centrifuges, two regular centrifuges, two uh, uh, yum, <laughs> two uranium hexafluoride tanks, two pl uh, uh, plutonium hexafluoride tanks, two breeding reactors, two RTG furnaces, four nuclear reactors, four st uh, steam turbines, a radiation-powered engine, three assembly machines, two chemical plants, one tank. Uh, 32 empty cells, 32 empty rods, four uh, fluid barrels of coolant, rat four bottles of Radex, one iodine pill, a ha handheld Geiger counter, strong right away. We get four of these, steel ingots, 64 of those, industrial grade copper, 64 as well, tungsten, 64, lead, 64. Polymer bars, that's 64. That's actually pretty nice because that's actually quite expensive. Glass furnace, you get three of those. And we get a complete... Oh, of course, you don't get a filter for this one either. So you, just got, you got to make sure you have filters beforehand. We have a, a high-performance hazmat suit. A full set. Very nice. Oops. 
we're gonna empty out our inventory again so you want to make sure you have a gas mask filter i personally like this one but this is the most expensive something that just pre uh, protects against uh i guess that's the best one for it <laughs> next we have the atomic science starter kit for commercial uses there we go. Oh, this one's fun. You get a bunch of uh, plutonium-238. You get about five of those. Plutonium-238 ingots. Oh, man. So you get um, six fuel pellets, eight um, plutonium ingots, 32 ingots of uh, uranium fuel, eight ingots of plutonium fuel, 16 ingots of MOX fuel, RTG unit, um, um, a motor, three motors, reading reactor core, empty cells, 64 empty rods, uh, 16 uh, barrels of water, 16 barrels of coolant, actually it's just eight barrels of coolant, assembly machine, chemical plant, two gas centrifuges, two nuclear furnaces, three RTG furnaces, Two RT uh, generators, eight nuclear reactors, sixteen steam turbines, four lithium-ion energy storage blocks, thirty-two red copper cables, eight uh, coated red copper cables. You get three uh, weak uranium RT uh, RTG pel um, pellets. We got a whopping eight freaking um, strong rataways, one elite rataway, two ra two bottles of radex and iodine. I want to see how much radiation I got from that. Oh, it's not as bad as I was expecting, actually. Oh yeah, it gives you a full hazmat suit. I really don't know if like having a filter affects it, the hazmat suit itself. I would assume it would, but look, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a nuclear scientist. Very nice, though. And last but not least, we have the Electronics Engineer's Kit. This one's pretty simple and easy. You get a bunch of electro uh, electronic stuff. This one doesn't give you radiation. You get a potato battery. Very nice. Five magnetrons. Three radial pistons. Sixteen, uh... Um... Can canisters of diesel, 16 canisters of biofuel, you get a qu uh, two quadruple advanced power cells, two lithium ion batteries, a generator limiter, a screwdriver, three combustion generators, two diesel generators, one radial performance ge engine, 64 red copper cables, 16 coated red copper cables, Eight uh, electricity, electricity poles, uh, four energy storage blocks, two lithium energy, uh, <laughs> two lithium ion energy storage blocks, one HE to RF converter, one RF to HE converter. So basically, what these do is this one converts the uh, HE, which is used for uh, like all of this stuff all these stuff in the HBM nuclear tech line and that converts it to RF for like any other mod like let's say applied energetics or whatever and this one converts RF from like let's say you got a big reactor from the big reactors mod you use this to convert the power from that into HE so to use it for like a centrifuge or something I think that takes that kind of energy like not that kind of energy, but I think it takes energy. So basically, that the the that's what those two do. Okay, next we have the red copper coil. Um, no, just a regular copper coil. We have a go uh, eight gold coils, eight heating coils, four motors, sixteen basic circuits, eight enhanced circuits, four advanced circuits, and one cable drum. That is it for all four of the. Uh, technical uh, supply uh, kits in the HP Nuclear Tech mod. Now our next video is going to be reviewing like 
we're gonna do like sets of four. So we're next videos we're probably gonna be doing like the uh like hazmat suits and stuff like that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.